Jürgen, what's in Van Dijk? He seems to be maybe discreet. He seems to be more vocal on the pitch than he maybe was a few years ago. And I just wonder if that was something that you, you as a club and you as a manager, have encouraged him, or is, is it him thinking, oh, I'm a bit older now, I, I'm under pressure to be a leader like maybe... Virch is a leader. He's not under pressure to be a leader. He's a leader, was always a leader. Um, and... Maybe the focus is now a little bit more on him, and it's more, I, I don't think he's more vocal than before. To be honest, I think he was always vocal. Um, and uh, in, a, in a in a in a super game, I, I think you don't realize really how much people are talking because it's uh, constant going and blah 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 these kind of things. Um, but yeah, we have to we have, we have to in his line. We have to we have to play better as well, but he knows that he knows that as well. And everything we can do to 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 do that is um, very welcome. Yes, and organizing a line is a massive is a massive thing. But it's not that he started now becoming a leader or whatever. No, it's always the case. It's natural then, not from the first day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You mentioned that everyone's not really slow; they have in the past. <laughs> so I said something you didn't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to build a better question on other people. Oh, okay. um, but what you said, is there anyone that you see has to be part of that foundation going forward? Yeah, in, a lot of. From the you know, yeah. recent performances and in training. What do you mean now? So you're saying that, that's a bad question. Um, so you're saying that. <laughs> Sorry. You're looking at everyone in training, and everyone's got a chance to play, but is there anyone that you're seeing that has to be part of that foundation? For the team to progress in the coming weeks, is anyone guaranteed to play at the moment? Is anyone yes. above the level of the other? Players? Yes, but I don't want to open that box now. So look, you do make my life easier. It's not your job to make my life easier, but uh, it makes it really difficult to talk week after week after week after week to explain these kind of things. What never will happen. And, I'm, and now, you, know, you, may, you might be surprised. You asked me about Trent Alexander Arnold, and I said he didn't perform well. Now you make something off of Trent and perform well. You know, we could have asked me about pretty much everybody. So Trent had super games, he's a super player, but couldn't, doesn't have the consistency this year. So we will now not go in and, and tell you who will play every week and stuff like this. So because on the other side there might be injuries and stuff and these kind of things. So again, I respect a lot that you have to ask questions. I have no problem with that. But uh, I'm not in your names, but in your mind, you have people. <laughs> Didn't think about it. Probably, maybe. Um, it's all. It's all. Ba it always was based on performing. Always was based on performing. You in games, if you perform well or extremely well, you have a very good chance to stay in the team. That's how it is. Well, always was. Then you have to force yourself to make a decision. I can't. He needs a rest now for whatever. Played last week. Played two weeks ago. Played four days ago, and all these kind of things. You make a change. But um, we, because we are no, in no cup competitions anymore. I think we have one more week with three games. But I don't know 100%. Um, uh, we have a week like after the Arsenal game. We play Sunday, then Monday. So it's eight days. A lot of training possible. And of course, we have to. But if we perform on Sunday. On our best best level, yeah, then it has a massive influence as well. Completely normal stuff. Russell and Martin Sam. Okay. I can ask you the deal with Jota. He likes a goal against Arsenal. I think he's got seven in seven games against them. He's had a frustrating season. He hasn't scored for a while. Is this an opportunity for him, perhaps, to? Yeah. No, yeah. <coughs> I, I, I thought, for example, Jogo did really well since his back because he was really long injured, and for, for that, um, the, 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 the level or the performance he, he produced, I, I really like. It was good against Chelsea. It was, it was uh, closed, closed the, left, the right side really well. Um, it's offensively a threat. Again, he's not. He has not of the foundation physically to go and go and go and go um, yet because of the long injury. But um, yeah, Diogo is a really good player. We missed him a lot during the season. Of course, we missed Lucho as well a lot uh, for big parts of the season. So these kind of things. But um, I said from next week on, Lucho will be back. 
hopefully as well, completely normal. And um, Jogo is back, which is absolutely helpful. So, yeah, might be for him. Um, this year is not a year he will remember as the best of his life because he was injured for the majority of it. But um, for, for, for us, it's now the last few games we have. It's super important. Yeah. You've, been, you've been impressed by the way that he's handled all the problems yeah. that he's had. This super year. mature boy. Super. So really dealing well with difficulties and setbacks and like this it was pretty impressive for the age he's in. You, you, you spoke about the players getting their confidence back, but <laughs> how do you, you re-energise um, and, and what gives you the confidence that, that this is just going to be another start rather than the, rather than the end? <laughs> I have no problem with re-energizing, so this is part of the job. And um, how you all know, I was in my life uh, for a long, long time on a, uh, working for a football club. We were used to losing the majority of the games just because we didn't have a chance. We had to win 10, 12 games a season to stay in the league, for example, at Mainz. So um, if I would have doubted myself constantly after losing a football game, it would have been really difficult for me. Just, just from the start, so really tricky. But, um, that's not a problem, but it's not that I never thought I'm the best manager in the world. It's not that I now think I'm the worst. So um, it's just a situation we have to get through. So I understand football and I understand a lot of things. I know a lot about human beings, learned a lot about human beings, um, and know that sometimes things need time um, in a world where we don't have time, <laughs> and that's it. And um, it's not that I'm super patient and say, okay, no problem, we will sort that next week. It's not my nature to be one of us and honest, but um, it's so. But really, my energy is not a problem. But do these moments make you a better manager? You think? In the long term, definitely. But for now, <laughs> um, in a more yeah, definitely. So you need to to improve, to get the best out of yourself. You need to to know about pretty much everything, and of course, it will help us. As a, as a, as a, with all the whole coaching stuff, definitely for the moment, um, the effect didn't kick in. It's not possible. So that's um, we have to we have to do what we um, what is right um, and help the boys to yeah to become the best version of themselves again. So they have they were there for a long time, and now they have to be it again. And that's what it's a job to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.